Good morning. As I stand here in the Dunn Center, I reflect on what spring commencement would have been like under usual circumstances. We would have changed the venue to the front lawn at the senior class request. We would have heard an exceptional commencement address from an award-winning actress, Sharon Lawrence. And each one of you would have had the chance to hear your name called, to walk across the stage, and to celebrate with your family. Although I cannot provide that experience for you, we, faculty, staff, administration, and board of trustees, wanted to provide you with a celebratory experience in true virtual fashion. So, welcome everyone to this community celebration, which honors a group of promising men and women who through intelligence, discipline, and hard work, have earned college degrees from North Carolina Wesleyan College. This is indeed a joyous occasion and nothing or no one can take that away from us. It's a time when we celebrate learning and academic achievement. It is also a time when we recall once again that few worthwhile things are achieved without the help and support of others. It is important to note that on this occasion, that these degrees are provided by an institution which seeks not only to dispense knowledge and to develop the habits of lifelong learning, but also expects its graduates to be responsible citizens, contributors to the common good, women and men who care about others. As we celebrate together, we acknowledge the obligations all of us have to bring about a better world. I am fortunate to work with the best faculty and staff who care about our students and the communities we serve. So this is going to be different. Um, typically, I would have an opening and a welcome. Uh, we would have a baccalaureate service from Dr. Barry Drum. I would get to fully announce a commencement speaker um, and list their accomplishments. Uh, we would hear from that speaker and then we would confer degrees and students would walk across the stage. So we're gonna do this in a little different order. Um, again, you are all invited back here in December. Um, we have rescheduled uh, this commencement for December 5th um, and Sharon Lawrence is scheduled to be here to speak with you. So hopefully many of you will be back. Hopefully all of you will be back. Uh, so we're going to do a little different order though just to celebrate you because this is going to be a virtual celebration. So with that I will state we move now to the conferral of degrees. I want to offer a brief word of appreciation to our faculty and our staff who brought each graduate to this place on this day. Master of Science. On the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of North Carolina Wesleyan College, I hereby confer upon you the degree Master of Science with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts. On the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of North Carolina Wesleyan College, I hereby confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Arts with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. <laughs> Bachelor of Science. On the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of North Carolina Wesleyan College, I hereby confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Science with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. So although we will not have a full baccalaureate service from Reverend Dr. Barry Drum, um, he does uh, wanna share a few words with you, so that will be next in this presentation. 
And this is the surprise I've been holding for a couple of weeks now. Um, actually, Sharon Lawrence will actually share a few words with you as well. Um, she sent us a video um, that she would like for us to share with our graduates. So that will come right after Barry Drum speaks. And just as a brief introduction, Sharon was born in Charlotte, but moved to Raleigh, North Carolina, her junior year of high school, and she graduated from Broughton High School. She attended the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where she graduated in 1983 with a Bachelor of Arts in Journalism, and was very active on stage with the UNC Chapel Hill, Chapel Hill Playmakers um, Company. Her father was a news reporter for our very own WRAL News, and Sharon was a proud founding leading actor at the North Carolina Theater, which is still going strong after 36 years at Raleigh's Memorial Auditorium. So let me just say congratulations, best wishes to all of you. You make us all proud. You've already proven that you can endure the un unexpected and rise to the occasion. You are strong. We are strong. Wesleyan is strong. We wish each of you a very best, uh, we wish each of you the very best in the coming years. Um, we hope that you keep in touch um, and you know already that you are in the Wesleyan family for life. So stay safe, stay strong, and support each other. Congratulations again, and I hope you really enjoy um, Dr. Barry Drum and Sharon Lawrence's message to you. And following that, will be the pictures of graduates who submitted pictures to us with their name, um, their hometown, and their degree. So congratulations, go and do great things. See you soon. Hello, class of 2020, Battling Bishops. Congratulations on your accomplishments. I want to remind you that one of our goals in a college education is to prepare graduates to face the future. It's not just vocational education. It is teaching you how to think and teaching you how to prepare for what you may face in the future. Class of 2020, you are uniquely equipped, equipped the best of any class in the seven decades of this college to face the future because you have experienced things recently that no class in the history of North Carolina Wesleyan College has ever faced. You are people of vision. I want to encourage you to be young men and young women of vision. In the Judeo-Christian tradition, in Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18 in the Bible, it says this, where there is no vision, the people perish. Another translation says, where there is no prophetic vision, the people are discouraged. But you, my friends, are battling bishops. I want to call your attention to our mascot for just a moment. Notice the mascot, the old Methodist circuit riding preacher. He is looking ahead. He is forward thinking. He is focused. He is fearless. Look at his eyes in the picture. The battling bishop has a focus. The battling bishop has a vision. I want to encourage you to be men and women of vision as you leave this day of your college graduation in 2020. Be focused on the road ahead. There is no rear view mirror on the horse of the circuit riding bishop. He's not distracted by current obstacles and not worried about past failures. He's focused on the vision that he has for the future. May you be the same. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hello, Wesley and graduates of 2020. I'm Sharon Lawrence, and I'm so sorry that I'm not able to join you for graduation as we had planned, but I'd like to talk to you today about sacrifice. It's something that we've heard of, but I think we all know a little more about now. You've probably made plenty of sacrifices just to get this far, the time and energy that you put into your academics and athletics to make it to a school like Wesleyan, or the time that you put in for all the applications for student loans and aids, and I know because I did that. And Maybe you sacrificed by holding a job while you were studying just so that you could make ends meet. I did that. Or maybe you actually had to sacrifice some of your spring break 
because you had a project with a deadline or a performance that, that wouldn't wait. I know, I did that too. But I never had to sacrifice my graduation service, so I can only imagine how disappointing that must be. But I also know that your sacrifice protected your fellow students and the faculty and the staff and your families and communities and maybe even the human race. So while we cannot pay that debt back, we can honor it with our pride in you and our gratitude for your sacrifice. And when you go out into the world as a Wesleyan grad wearing your blue and gold with pride, we'll know that you're someone special, that the class of 2020 did something unique. And we'll also know that you are well prepared to face the challenges that we will need you to meet. So I congratulate you and I thank you and I encourage you to feel good about what you've accomplished so far and what will come next. We'll be watching and maybe we'll be able to celebrate together in December. But regardless, I wish you health and I wish you happiness, and I wish you knew just how proud we are of the class of 2020.